Hey, at C, this is Art C. I'm at the Greenville Museum of Art with Trista Porter. She's the executive director for the museum. Hey, Trista, how's it going? It's going very well, thank you. Good, good. So Trista, we are standing in a fabulous exhibition curated by Parks McAllister, and it's Growing Up Queer in the South. And it is fabulous. I attended the opening reception for it. I learned a lot, it was very beautiful. So what's it all about? So it's kind of self-explanatory in the title. I think that's sort of the beauty of the title of this show is um, it, we invited, we put out a call for artworks for this juried exhibition. Um, and the only parameters were the artists had to um, identify within the queer community or LGBTQ plus community um, and have spent some time sort of growing up in the American South. And it included a wide range of states. So those were sort of the main parameters for submitting work for the show. Mm -hmm. And we got a really incredible um, display a really wide range of yeah. different media, people from different states, um, all kind of documenting their own sort of experiences. Definitely, and I met a lot of great artists during the opening reception who were from out of town, but they came back here because they actually, you know, some of them were from here, but they left and now they're living in their truth. Mm -hmm. That's correct, yeah. A lot of people, um, some people are still living in the South that traveled for the show, some of the artists, um, but some of the artists have moved to places like Portland or New York, places yeah. where they can feel a little bit more at home from like yeah. some of the small towns that they grew up in in the South. So that's absolutely true. Hey, Renee Sagroves, um, they did this piece, um, it's called Analysis Paralysis, and it's all- Analysis Paralysis, yeah, I love the name. It's all colored pencil. I love this piece, it just kind of like, made me happy it felt very cheerful yeah it's like, uh, this beautiful all the color colors depiction of yeah of their like bathroom um i just loved the kind of brightness of it i can't remember i don't know the whole story of it either so the title of it the artist's name is m.e cobb and the title of their piece is i'm not responsible for what people think pat only for what i am so mm. it feels like it's a very specific personal reference but this artist um, basically finds these old um, like button-up t-shirts and then adds spray paint and glitter to them so it makes them like just really kind of fabulous looking. Yes, it's like otherwise very fabulous. Like kind of masculine. Um, yes. Sort of shirt, so really, really colorful. And, okay, let me um, know who this artist is. I need to follow them on Instagram and let yeah. them know that I need to buy their shirt for myself. Yeah. <laughs> M.E. Cobb. M.E. Cobb. Yeah, that's right. And what do we have over here? So I actually met this artist. Yeah, Jesus. And he is fabulous. Yeah, Jesus Daniel Lopez. Is, he is one of the artists who traveled all the way from Texas to be here for the opening reception. Yeah, um, really he told special. me that. Um, and I think they just graduated actually from Sam Houston University. Um, so very pretty young. Um, still. Yeah. And did these pieces. These are prints of like collage work. This is the artist. These are like sort of self portraits of the artist himself. Mm -hmm. um, sort of collage in this really um, interesting way. It's beautiful. Yeah. And so this piece is like all printed on Polaroids, and I think it's actually oh. is the artist, or maybe it was no, the model. No, this is nice right here. Yeah, yeah, and they're wearing this sort of like lace mask. Wow. So it's sort of referencing, maybe not specifically Southern, but sort of referencing like gentility. Well, thanks for tuning in to Artsy, and be sure to come back every Thursday to see more on Hello ENC.